What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend, man. You tune in to the right video at the right time. Because if you know, like I know, man, don't nothing happen by mistake. Everything happens for a reason. And the reason why you watching this video right now is because you was intrigued by the topic. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now, if you sensitive, if you soft, if you can't take real, real advice, this video ain't for you. OK, I just need you to go ahead and click off. Just go ahead and be polite for the people that really want to watch this video. Just go ahead and click off because this video is not for you. OK, I'm only going to say this to people who are strong, people who like to hear truth. And people who like to hear it told like the way it is. Okay, I'm not going. I'm not here to tickle your fancy. I'm not here to to, to butter you up. I'm not here to uh, gas you up or none of that. I'm here to tell you the truth about your situation, and I'm here to tell you just like it is and what you need to do. Okay, so if you if you want to level up, if you want to become successful, if you've been waiting on your best life, if you want to live your dream life and whatever it is that you've been desiring, I'm about to tell you how to do that right now but first thing first i gotta tell you if you want to be successful all right and, and you've been having a goal in your mind for this x amount of time or maybe you just all of a sudden decided you want to live a totally new life you want to live a better life you want to be greater than you have ever been before i want to go ahead and tell you you cannot do that in a relationship i'm gonna say it one more time you cannot do it in a relationship if the person who you with is not willing to work with you. All right. If they if they don't got this, if they don't got the same interest as you for whatever it is that you're trying to do, it's not going to work. I don't care if it's your husband or your wife. All right. If you with somebody and y'all together and y'all call yourself a couple and, and y'all in love and all this this extra bullshit. If you have a desire in your heart that you want to be successful, you have to get with somebody that's going to give you the motivation to do that. Period. Opposites attract is BS. That's some bull crap. The opposites don't attract. All right. Michelle Obama and Barack Obama, they both into politics. They, they both into politics. However you want to like them or not, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, all right? They both into entertainment. They're both into entertainment, even though a lot of people say things about them. They both into the same things, all right? Uh, Justin Bieber and what, his new girlfriend. They're both into entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cardi B and uh, Offset, they're both into music, okay? Let's say Bill and Hillary, <laughs> They are both into the same thing. Folks, listen. If you have a partner that is interested in the same field of study that you are interested in, then hats off to you. You're gonna do good things in life. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna go to different heights that y'all never went to before. But if you, like I say, if you spending your time with somebody who talking down on you because you're trying to be successful at this and you trying to be successful at that, and they just don't want you to do it. Listen. I'm gonna tell you what they're gonna they're gonna do. They're gonna start talking junk down on you. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna never see your vision. They're gonna they're gonna always say you're not gonna be able to make it. It's not gonna be able to happen. You know he gonna always act like what you're doing don't matter. It ain't really important or nothing like that. That's what they're gonna do. You know why? Because they're not interested in what you're interested in deep down in your heart. They're not interested in the same thing. And that's why I be telling y'all y'all some of y'all have been listen. Some of y'all have been programmed. You have been programmed to believe that love and relationships is the cure to all your problems. It's not. Look around. Look around. Look how many people that, you know how many people you know that's in relationships, they are miserable. They can't go nowhere. They can't travel. They can't do what they want to do. They can't be themselves. They Most people that's in relationships are completely unhappy, y'all. Completely unhappy. And I know I'm not the one to know this. Only one to know this. They are completely unhappy. They are miserable. They wish they could be out of it. And they can't. Some of, some people can't even get out of it because they don't they don't bought the belief that love is that love in relationships is king. It's not. Love for a relationship is, is not king. Now, love in general is king. Don't get me wrong. But not for relationships. It's not king. 
It's not. It's not the thing that makes you happy. And especially for a lot of you women, a lot of you women have been raised and, and programmed to think that if you don't have a man and you don't be in a relationship, then you you like a second class citizen. You are next to nothing. You are no one. You don't have any beauty. You're not beautiful. If you don't have a man, you're not beautiful. That's what y'all been programmed to think. If you don't have a ring on your finger, you're not worthy. You're not a certified chick. You know, nobody likes you and you have problems and you're a single mom and this and that. That's what they program you to think because they want you to bite into the belief of the bull crap to think that you need people to make you fulfilled. It's lies. You don't, you don't need no woman to make you feel like a man, bro. You are a man without a woman. You don't need no man to make you feel like a feminine divine woman. You are a woman, okay, with all your God-given right without having to have a man. A man don't come, a man, a man don't come not unless you want him to come. You know what I'm saying? And when I say that, is if like you ready, like you, you know, and see a lot of y'all, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. No, the reason why you keep saying I'm ready, I'm ready is because that's what you see every other woman. That's what you see every other woman want so bad because they all programmed. They not like you, you know, and, and, and it's funny because, and the reason why I say it's not love is not king in relationships is because that's not really what you truly desire deep in your heart. You really want to live the life of your dreams. And the life of your dreams don't involve another person. You want to be on your own personal yacht. You want to be financially free. You want to be able to take your kids wherever they desire to go and be able to just pay for whatever they desire without having to say, no, you put that down, put that down. That's what you want. You want to be able to go to a nice restaurant that's elegant and fancy that has nice decor a nice atmospheric setting and you want to be able to just do that you don't you're not you're not necessarily wanting to do it with somebody else even though it's gonna make you feel like oh, i need to go on a date today oh, i need to call this chick up man i need to call this chick man i need to take somebody out today no that ain't what you really want deep in your heart you really want to go there to that restaurant but see you don't want to be seen by yourself because once again You've been programmed to believe that if people see you by yourself, then you're not important. You're not popular. You're a nobody. Listen, folks, listen, I hate to burst your bubble, but the people who are by themselves are the most important people on the earth. They have the most confidence. They have the most power. People that you see out doing their own thing, they're doing their own shopping, they're buying their own clothes, they're buying their own groceries. You know what I mean? They, they, they're, they're, they're taking care of their own well-being without having to have a, a second hand or a third wheel around them to be able to help them do it. These, these are the most powerful people on earth because a lot of people aren't able to do that. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all in relationships right now where you feel like you are the only one that wants more out of your relationship. Why is that? Why don't your other second half want more? Why you got to duck and dodge and talk on the phone when you want to talk to certain people? You know what I'm saying? And you can't even talk to them while they're in the house. Why is it, Why you got to duck and dodge and stuff like that? It's because y'all unequally yoked. See, y'all fell for the okie doke. Y'all fell for the okie doke. Excuse me. Y'all fell for the okie doke. You know what I mean? L I'm in love. I'm in love. Y'all have a little bit of sex. Yeah, he, yeah, he make you, he gas you up, he put you on a pedestal, she put you on a pedestal, make you feel like you the best thing smoking, cause you look good that day, make you feel like you the only man in her life that really done something special for her, because she ain't had no daddy, no father figure. Now you feel like you just the biggest thing smoking now. Now all of a sudden, y'all got the love, y'all got the little physical stuff and the flesh stuff all down pat. Y'all got the flesh shit all done. But when that spirit hit, and y'all start tapping into y'all gifts and, and what y'all callings is, that's when the problems begin because y'all go in two separate directions. See, y'all got into a relationship off of the flesh. Y'all got into the relationship off of the off of the physical, the surface. Y'all just seen each other and saw y'all think y'all like each other because of 
physical appearances, but when you start to get to know somebody and you start to see their true colors and who they really all about and what they stand for and what her morals are and who she really is, you will know what she really like. And if that's the really the one for you, oh, that ain't the one for you no more, is it, bro? I know that wasn't the one for you because y'all got together for the wrong reason. Y'all wanted people to see that y'all was in love. Oh, y'all got rings on. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. And it don't even mean nothing today. Just a just some facade. Just an image. Just the cover on a book to try to make people read it. And then when you finally read it, it ain't no substance in it. Ain't nobody really happy. Ain't nobody, nobody cheerleader. Everybody's in competition with each other. You can't even do what you desire to do and what your purpose is to do because they don't even want to go down your path. If you got a girlfriend or boyfriend or something, listen, y'all got a time to let them go. Some of y'all can't even tap into your purpose. You can't even tap into what God has planned for you because you still think that you still supposed to hold on to something that's already done. It's already broken. The contract has ended. You know how I know? Because I used to be like that in, in some of my past relationships. I used to always think, man, I got to keep this thing together the best way I can. Knowing, knowing good and well, it was already done. Hell, you know what I mean? Knowing good and well, I done already cheated. You know what I mean? It's done. You know, but see, we sometimes be acting religious. Huh? God said he want us to... <laughs> religion, 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 religion has turned us into some bitches. And I'm going to tell like it is, like that. Like that, right there, Christians. Everybody's sensitive. Everybody done got too sensitive. You know what I mean? And we scared to follow into what we feel is the best. We 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 want to impress people still. We want to still make people think we still got it going on like the Joneses. No. Stop the bitch assness. Stop kissing ass and stop saying, oh, we're going to make it work. Even though we know we're not yoked and we're not going in the same direction. Even though we know we're not, uh, we're not helping each other. We're still going to try to go get counseling. And you, you don't need nobody to tell you how y'all need to work your relationship. If you got to go to this person and this person and this person and this pastor and this psychologist and this psychiatrist and, and this uh, life coach and y'all ain't supposed to be together. Y'all ain't supposed to be together. You don't need nothing. I keep telling y'all so many times. Listen, you don't need no substance outside yourself to reach your greatest potential. Meaning drugs, alcohols, any type of narcotics. You don't need none of that stuff outside you to make you feel good. It's already in the temple. The kingdom of God is within you. You don't need no person outside of you either. You don't need no person outside of you either to make you feel complete. Period. You don't. If you in a relationship right now and you unhappy, I'm talking to you. Look at how long you probably been with it. You probably been with this person for years, bro. Listen, y'all haven't accomplished nothing together other than just the main basic things of just maintaining the household, keeping y'all jobs, and, and, and satisfying each other with the little pleasures that y'all do. That's it. What about the big grand goals? Huh? What about the major goals? That y'all supposed to be doing as a unit. What about those? But see, y'all can't get those done because y'all didn't know that y'all just got together over for this reason. But y'all didn't realize that it's this season. Huh? And listen, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you, but I'm y'all know Big Brother is not going to sugarcoat it. I'm sorry. I don't even like a lot of sugar. I like my shit strong. Okay? Listen. Until y'all grow up, and realize that y'all not supposed to be together. Like friends. Hey, me and my ex-wife, we did it. Me and my ex-wife was together. The time we was together, we loved each other. We had a good time. We had a blast. But her and I both knew we had two different paths in life. Two different paths. She, we just finally came to the realization one day. You know what I mean? We did. And we was grown about it. We was not no kids about it. You know what I mean? We sucked it up, we chunked it up, and we signed that up, and we left it up to God at the end of the day. And still to this day, 
I can literally message and call my ex-wife and say, hey, how you doing? She say, hey, how you doing, Trent? I'm having a good day. You having a good day? Yeah, we're having a good day. No bad beef. No, none of that. That's what y'all got to do. If you know you're not supposed to be with that person at that time, listen, it's okay to let them go. And I was talking to a man the other day. And <laughs> shouts out to my man if you're watching this video. But listen, I got a different opinion. You know, he was like, well, you know, me and my wife been together for 37 years. And then she she was on the side. She was like, yeah, you don't, you look like you old enough to be my son. We've been together longer than what your age is. <laughs> you know, they were cracking jokes on me and stuff like that. But I'm just looking at night. Like, okay, that don't mean y'all didn't go through some tough times. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure they went through tough times. She's like, yeah, yeah, I, I had to throw a VCR at his head in order to get him to act right. He said, they don't even got VCRs no more. You remember VCRs? I had to throw one in there. And I looked at him. I said, man, she threw a VCR at your head. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, man, did you feel like she was trying to take your life or something? He was like, no, no. I raised her. I raised her. Now, I'm just sitting there thinking. What type of relationship that is so loving and cool and good that it gets to the point where you guys are throwing electronic devices such as a VCR or a TV and laptops at each other. That's bad. It ain't worth it. Now, I'm not trying to say they not supposed to be together, but I'm saying, bro, it's better to be safe than sorry. Because what if he was the type of guy, he was a psychopath or something, and he decided to do something to his wife that... You know, Lord and forbid that happened. You know what I'm saying? But just think, what if you met a guy that was like that? When you got angry one night or whatever, y'all had an argument and you did something because you got a, a, in a rage or, you know, she did something to you because she went crazy or whatever. And then that's when the, the devil strike. And then, and then when you look up, it's too late. It's too late. You can't take it back. What if that happened? Now, I'm assuming they had God in their relationship. Shout out to that couple out there if y'all watching the video. But I had to use y'all as an example. I'm assuming they had the Lord in their relationship. Okay? And maybe they were equally yoked. Maybe they had the same I didn't ask them this question, but maybe they had the same type of careers. Maybe they was going in the same directions. And they, they had the same motivations in life. They had the same morals. They saw eye to eye with, with certain, uh, you know, uh, aspects of life and, and, you know, stuff like that. Maybe that, that was the reason why they're still together. But I'm just telling y'all, folks, everybody ain't that couple, man. Y'all see what you got to go through, man. There's a lot of negativity that's going to happen in a relationship versus how much positivity. And everybody say pressure makes diamond, which is true. But listen, I got to tell you this, man. It's better to be safe than sorry. All right. If you know you're not emotionally ready for no relationship and you know that you got goals that you are trying to accomplish, your best deal, the best bet is for you to not get into a relationship right now. Listen, ladies, a man is not going to save y'all. Y'all got to, y'all ladies out there, y'all living in some times right now where it, like they trying to make y'all think that y'all have to have some type of Prince Charming to where he does everything for y'all. Folks, do not buy into that belief. That's a rabbit hole. That's a rabbit hole. Because, in, because at the end of the day, when you do get anything you want, when he do start buying you anything you want, he going to do that. But he going to see you as a lazy ass woman who never does anything for herself. And he going to have you in a house, big old house or whatever. You're going to be baking cookies. You're going to have to take care of the kids and washing the dishes and mopping the flows. You know what I'm saying? Taking the trash out and you're going to you're going to be in a nice, nice neighborhood where a bunch of rich people stay. You're going to be able to go shop at the malls like every other uh, uh, housewife and stuff do. You're going to be buying home decor and stuff like that. And, and, and guess what he's going to be? He's going to be out somewhere doing whatever the hell he want to do. You know why? Because you don't want nothing else for yourself. That's all you settled for. All you settled was for the material things in life. And if you settle for the material things in life, that is vanity. That's vanity. All right. So I'm saying if you I'm saying if you a woman and you're watching this video, you got to have some type of purpose in your life. You got to be living for something other than living for 
a man is gonna uh, he's gonna be the light and shiny armor for my life. It's that's that's not the right concept. I'm telling you, it's only gonna end up it's, you're only gonna end up sad and miserable. Okay, you gonna be sad and miserable. You know how I know? Cause I know I see it all the time around me. I talk to a lot of women. I talk to a lot of men. I see it all around me all the time. You're gonna end up sad and you're gonna end up miserable because you settled for what everybody else is doing. Do you want to be a follower? Or do you want to be a leader? All right. Same thing for my men, bro. Don't 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 think that you have to have anybody in your life to make you feel like you a man, bro. You a man without anybody. OK, and you're not a man by proving that you can get a whole bunch of ladies. That's not what a man does, bro. A man is somebody who takes care of his own around him, his siblings. You know what I'm saying? His family. And you set yourself up for success to when and when emergency times come, you can support your family. They first. You know what I mean, the woman is second. You know what I mean? A woman is second in your life. And why I say she's second, because you got to be as a man, you got to get your own shit together. For real. You got to get your own shit together, together. You know what I mean? Like, and what I'm saying is you got to learn how to love yourself first as a man. Because it can't no woman love you the way you're going to be able to love yourself. You know what I mean? And vice versa. So I'm not making this video to tell y'all to just leave your specific person. I'm just saying, man, if you have realized, man, y'all are not on the same page. Y'all are unequally yoked, man. Is you going to continue to waste your time? Being with somebody who you know is not meant for you, okay? It was this time being, a time being that y'all was supposed to be good. They not meant for you no more. Or you're going to move on, have no bad blood with that person. You feel, you feel me? Both forgive yourself, wash your hands from it, and you, you step into the life that God wants you to step in by being your own best friend and being an entrepreneur and accomplishing those things you want to accomplish. And then... You can make room for somebody else. But see, some of y'all done did it backwards. And that's why y'all stuck. That's why y'all can't get out. Because y'all did it backwards. Well, this is your confirmation right here. This is your big brother trend telling you exactly what you need to do in order to see some progress in your life. Okay? If you need some assistance, man. If if, if you with your specific person right now. And um, y'all need big bro to really like intervene with y'all. And give y'all some type of coaching as to what y'all need to do next as a couple. Listen. Um, I've been there before, you know what I mean? Just make sure y'all book a session with me, man. I'll talk to y'all three-way if I have to, all right? Just first come, first serve, though. So the, the link is going to be in the bottom in the comment section at the very top. Just click that link. Y'all book a session with me right now. If y'all want to talk, man, I'm all love. I'm all open ears, man. So with that being said, thank you for tuning into this video. It's your big brother, Trend, man. Peace.